okay quick friday morning radar update so if you want to receive more of this kind of content through the youtube feed just hit the like and subscribe it's um the the visual way to go and it's you know it's a lot easier than uh sharing things on twitter isn't it we've got an update in w7l today i'll have a quick look at that let's just go through the markets um yeah bit of a down day today but uh let's just buzz through these markets obviously i've done a market update just put the uh, 200 in the mix for you so you can see that one transports leader you know we've just come off the lows here and we're going to see what what follows industrials you know we, we just we had a, a huge run on these markets weekly accumulation as noted big accumulation bars so that's you know a very important bar to hold and this bar is coming off the lows on most of these markets so you know back and fill would be extremely you know after an explosive run or or a trend day as we've seen a trend week in the us anything more than an inside day is a victory you know back and fill extremely normal action for the bulls so Coming into this week, my, my theme at Trading Basis has been everyone's going to be expecting this to explode higher this week. But the reality is anything more than an inside day or back and fill, you know, just just holding up in the range and just orderly consolidation of, of the move, prior move, is basically, you know, a victory for the Bulls. So even if we end up the week down, it's still a victory for the Bulls by holding holding this price action so far so we'll see how this goes um s p is the one where, where you're going to start focusing on this level here and see if it's going to build a base and and coil up and explode higher <laughs> so we won't draw that line in just so, so i don't curse it yet but you know this is the kind of action you want to see you know nice coiling action would be very normal very normal same with the nasdaq you know the 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 move we had on the Nasdaq here, extremely normal. It's a very um, low volatility pullback in the Nasdaq compared to the run it's had. I mean, look at that, you know, and it's probably about 8% off highs or something, was it? Oh, 11% off highs, maybe a little bit more. But that's 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 a garden variety correction, really, isn't it? You know, anything from 6 to sort of 10 11%. Is, is pretty normal run of the mill so we'll we'll see how that goes straight back into the range as we expected I'll, I'll just you know we all have to learn most people puke here and I'll, I'll tell you now you know it, it's it's just always the way it goes the, the market the market bottoms where you have to sign into your account emotionally and start reinventing your own trade management so you know the trading psychology is built on you know methodology and back testing the methodology and forward testing and position sizing and, and and once you're happy with your risk in the market and you're happy with your methodology then you'll you'll be able to trade a little bit more like a robot you know you won't be signing into your account um moving things for no reason you know it's it's rinse and repeat this is this is what the markets are here to do that they're, they're, they're here to scare everyone out before you know you, a shakeout before a breakout is a pretty normal sort of uh, term used out there but you know you will see this over and over and over again uh, i'll just go back to um i will do if i can find it I'll just go back to the S and P five hundred, and we'll just go back to the uh, where shall we go to? We'll go to this run here. There it is. I've already got it marked. You know, th this is basically, you know, U.S. election, Brexit, and the U.S. election. 
you know, we had this correction. Went to, actually a bear, you know, you could call it a bear, a bull trap here, but you know, stocks were pretty awful, and then stocks started to constructively, you know, in this area here, constructively they got the stocks started to sort themselves out, and we had a known unknown you know with the brexit vote and the u.s election in the mix we had known unknowns in this this period i haven't even got i haven't got the dates marked on them but obviously something happened here didn't it i can't remember the dates offhand but known unknowns and then you know we started building positions through this pullback because and then the market went to the higher high and, and this is where everyone threw the towel in just just go back and have a study of this and you know the heat of your whole portfolio has to deal with this without you know it's got to be within your trade tampering limitations it never feels good when we get that lockstep pullback where everything in the portfolio whether it's a w7l or whether it's you know it doesn't matter what it is whether when they all come in together you know that is the reality you, we, you've got to be able to still trade your plan so you've got to back test it and you've got to have risk management in place and that's what we you know trading basis is built on risk management go and have a read of the free tutorials at my site most people who turn up to trading basis the first thing they do is go have a light bulb moment and go crikey i didn't know how much risk i had in the markets here i don't need to have this much risk i can build on success and you know just cut the dead dead heads put the weeds, <laughs> pull the weeds, whatever, you know, and, and build on success. And, um, you know, at the moment, we're, we're still in a bear market in UK stocks. You know, that is the market we're at, we're in. But always trying to build, you know, try, trying to build on, on some green shoots. And what your portfolio should be doing first thing you shouldn't you shouldn't have a big hole to to trade out of in a bear market that's that's what we do you know we we never get um into trouble in a bear market or a market crash and then you know in a grindy environment the investor might say well fully invested is up this much year to date guess what you know to be up this much year to date you've got to have taken a hit in 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 the prior market as well you know so, so you're probably probably still down off portfolio all time highs a, a fair way. The reality is build, building out of a bear market, your wheels will be spinning a bit. You're trying to get up that hill, but your wheels are spinning. And then when the market lifts the pressure off, you'll, you'll get a step higher and then you'll start spinning again. It It's just how running a portfolio is. It will never change. You know, there is no secret magic to get get out of that sort of um grindy you know you grind and then and then all of a sudden the market lets you lift your portfolio to a new high and then you grind again and um it's it's about how well you can stay afloat in the bad market environments it really is and it's all risk management and it's very boring boring but very simple stuff to put in place so you know it's not it's as exciting as chasing news on re chasing stocks on news report days is it you know but, but it's what keeps you in the game year after year. So, you know, that being said, you know, these markets, I'm hoping we've just see, seen that sort of um, where, where the market just basically scares everyone out and it holds these levels. Big basing sort of patterns on, on the FTSE small caps and the 250. Yes, they're, they're very bearish areas right on the lows, but we've got to watch the leaders is what I'm trying to say. And the leaders of the S&P, the NASDAQ, you know, the transports needs to step up there as well. And, and the industrials, obviously. So so that's my sort of, you know, two penneth on that. And let's just jump straight to W7L today and uh, we'll just run through this. So, you know, obviously. It's had a couple of runs couple of trending runs this this stock it rolled over here then it set up again you can you can see that this line in the sand here would have locked some profits avoided drawdown off highs 
of 50% and then you could have got back involved at the same price. Um, I got involved on the pullback, not the breakout, I will just add. But um, due to market heat and risk management. But um, yeah, based out, high, high, first pullback and then off it went on its little journey. So, you know, we're working on a high here, new high here on really good results on basically a bad day in the market. Day, you know, whatever a bad day is, but it's not really a bad day, is it? Pretty green in my portfolio. But um, what to note on these results? One thing I'll note is just that, you know, the Christmas period that, you know, that they, they've just thrown out a better, better than expected result. And the year on year will now flip from deceleration to acceleration year on year. So, you know, as the pre profit before tax was um i'm just going to uh, punch it in on my gtrs here w7l i'll bring this into the side here you can see that now we're, we're ac we've got we're, we're back to acceleration we've just gone through a phase of deceleration but they you know we're back to acceleration for the full year results and once these full year results drop, it could go back to deceleration again. I put, I put money on it. It will go back to deceleration again. But, you know, you'd hope by then you've got a pretty good trailing stop running and, and you know, it can still trend higher, though it is decelerating, as Boo did for some time and as, you know, that's the way the market runs you know the the best results will usually be followed by deceleration and there'll be big numbers but 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 the numbers following will start to slow down is is what that means so yeah happy days you know let's just hope this thing can uh keep clawing its way higher and if the market just takes the pressure off well you know even better you know so you notice a lot of retail stocks have been doing well as recently as well. So, you know, money's getting uh, still getting thrown around there, especially the Christmas period for this one. So, you know, lines in the sand, keep it simple, find the best growth stocks. Just if, if you go to, you know, I've just shared it on, on the Twitter, actually, the the, uh, the best stocks today. And there's, there's a list of stocks in there. You, uh, time went through, was it yesterday? Time went through. You know, a bit of a sloth-like stock, obviously. But, you know, the, these kind of stocks are basically um, going to be a little bit bumbly on the trend. But still, you know, off it went on its journey. Really nice. There's a nice breakout here. I think I bought the the cheat on this one. Can't remember now without going looking. But, um yeah and up it's up it's gone it's trade trading above this level so so you should should have a pretty good trail on that that stock now but it will still need the room it needs is you know the obvious point there so yeah time and w7l you know gaps tend to happen in the direction of the trend happy days